<sighs> then what do you make of Andor's proclamation? Are you suggesting they fooled even the Marquis? What if a judge killed the king, not the captain? That would explain everything, wouldn't it? In that case, the captain would be brother to a judge. How are we to trust such a man? Huh? Now there is the Bosch that I remember. Then will you fight again at my side? His word alone convinces me of nothing. I'd take his word over that of a mouthpiece Marquis. Then you name Rex liar with him. My brother was no liar! <sighs> Just the opposite. Rex was the witness they needed. They had to make it appear as if I killed the king. Rex bears no blame. The fates have willed it. So this is Rex's brother. Ah. Your words may convince a child such as this, but they weigh far too lightly on the scales for my taste. Our paths will remain separate. Do you not think Amalia worth saving? I hold men's lives in my hands. I must see foes in every shadow. The night we moved against Vane, he knew. I will not chance such disadvantage again. I must treat you as I would Ondor, as I would treat any of better of the Empire. Then what will you do? Hold me here in chains? <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Listen to me, Bosch. Your cage may have no bars, but it is a cage. The eyes of the Resistance watch unblinking. Let them watch. I know something of cages. right. Amalia's in the Resistance. Then you know her. Sorta. We met just before we got sent to Nalbana. I've known nicer people. Our paths keep crossing yours and mine. It's more than coincidence. It's annoying. I'm sorry. Allow me one last annoyance, a favor to ask. I want you to take me to both here. Even caged birds need wings. This makes us even. Even? For Nalbana. We couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> <laughs>